Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Fast API. Today we are going to learn how to upload a CSV file in the Fast API and convert into the JSON. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Let's get started. So first of all, we are going to add this code into our file. So let's comment the previous code. Okay, done. Next, let's add this. Okay, so first of all, we have to go with some dummy CSV file. If I have already, let me check. It's already in there or not. Yeah, there is the file. Okay, so we will upload this file. Okay, get it. Let's run this. Here we go with running this Python. So here we will go with Okay, start this. Let's open this directory. Okay, so let's go for the docs. Okay, let's try to upload the CSV and check that uh, it is converted or not. Try it out, browse. So we will use from the recent user CSV. There is no. So let's go to the HTML Python. And here we have the users.csv, right? So let's use this, okay? execute what will happen here you can see the csv data right so whatever data in that one so let's open this and let's check what exactly the data is so here you can see id's name and the email and here you can see the same process is coming up okay so this is how when i upload the csv what gonna be returned the json Okay, so this is how you can do that part. Okay, so let's dive into the code level. So here you can see what we are using. Let's word wrap this. So fast API import from the fast API upload file and the file. CSV and the IO. Okay, initialize the fast API. Then we have a route that is upload. This is a function upload. Uh, here we have upload file because we are accepting the file. Okay. Next, check if the CS file is CSV or not. So we were checking with the ends with .csv. Read the CSV contents with file.read. Convert the CSV to the JSON with the help of io.string.io contents decode, then dictionary reader. So here we have a dictionary reader to read that and convert in the CSV file. So this is the CSV file reader, then conversion. CSV dictionary data, CSV data, then the JSON data in the row we have managed with the for loop and return the JSON data. And something goes wrong, it will go with that the only CSV files are allowed. Very easy, very simple. Any doubt, any query in that, do let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video and please don't forget to like, share and comment on my video. Have a nice day.